Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Justin Wolf from Wolf Customs. I wanted to make a video real quick in response to uh, the last video I made, the bugging out video. Um, first of all, I want to thank everybody for watching. I uh, had a lot of really, really great comments and responses and everything else. Um, the reason for this video is because right now I am not teamed up with Google Plus and I cannot make comments and answer questions unless you sent messages to my email which a lot of people did and uh, for those that did send me messages to my email thank you and uh, I hope I was able to get back and answer the questions that you had but I wanted to go through and um, answer a few questions or make a couple remarks as far as um, some of the comments that I got so let's just scroll through some right quick and take a look I got one um, from somebody by the name, the username uh, Big Kahuna, and he asked something that's um, it's a pretty good question, and so I'm gonna try to answer it the best I can. It reads, "I'm a prepper myself, but I still don't know why people keep saying they're going to bug out, A.K.A. run away from their home for safety. Why run away from a home where all your survival gear is?" If it's so safe at your bug out spot, why are you not living there now? This kind of thinking doesn't make sense to me. It's hard enough to travel when Black Friday arises. So how do you think you're going to travel to your bug out spot when S H I T F? I'm not gonna cuss because my kids here. Um Well, you know that's a very good point. And here's my answer to that. Um it would actually take quite a bit for me to um, actually bug out okay and the the whole thing bug out kind of bothers me anyway because most people say that um, you gotta have a 72 hour bag or bug outs last 72 hours this thing or that and in my personal opinion that is not not accurate at all I mean if you're going to leave all your worldly possessions behind yeah, I'm not coming back, okay? It won't be a 72-hour scenario. If I leave this home, it's going to be a very long time, if ever, that I come back. So I'm not leaving behind the survival gear and everything else that I have, unless I just quite frankly can't fit it. But like I said, it's going to be... Um, it's going to take a lot for me to leave. Now, why would I leave, okay, if I have all my survival gear, you know, and everything else here at the moment? Well, it's simple. Um, I live in town, okay? Um, and what does that have to do with anything? Well, I'll tell you that as well. Um, some of you guys know, some of you do not. I was, uh, I was in law enforcement for 13 years. And during that time, I learned a great deal about people and what people are capable of doing in normal everyday life, let alone what they're capable of doing in a high stress situation. Um, let's just use the, uh, the example that the, the dollar collapses, okay? let's say that financially the dollar collapses. Now this isn't a bait, now whether or not this is going to happen, okay? And this is, I'm just throwing this out hypothetical. But let's say that it does. Well, what is going to happen? The trucking industry is going to stop. When the trucking industry stops, then what happens? They no longer deliver food to your grocery stores. How long is it going to take for the food in your grocery stores to run out once everybody realizes the trucks are no longer running? A week? Tops? Um, first couple days it's going to be sheer panic and chaos. During those times, I would not bug out. I would stay in my home. You're more in danger going outside of your home at that point. A week and a half, two weeks. In two weeks time, the average normal person is going to be running out of food. 
And at that point, they're going to start getting desperate. And when people get desperate, they do desperate things. And that is when you're going to start getting problems. Two and a half weeks, three weeks, you're going to have people more than likely going door to door, breaking into homes, um, taking what they can find. And um, if somebody's in their way, you know what's going to happen. Um, my wife and my daughter are the most important things in this world to me. And I personally do not feel like I would be able to fully protect them living in town where I live. Um, and that is why I would, I would get out. Um, like I said, I've seen what people are capable of doing. And I just would feel I'd need to get out. That, that, is, that is why. Um, now, like I said, I would stay for the first couple days or the first week, okay? During that first week in that particular situation, I would try to do my best to gather up everything that I have and get everything gathered up, not just my bug out bag. But, like I said, it would definitely be uh, stuff more for long term or forever versus uh, 72 hours. But that's going to change depending on the situation. You know, if the situation was, say, an invasion or something like that, well, I'm not going to wait around. At that point, I'm getting out right then and there. Um, again, where I live um, is in town. And not only that, but I live a half a mile away from one of the most used highways in America, I-35. You are going to have so much traffic on I-35 with whoever it is that's invading. Um, <laughs> this is the last place that you want to be. So those are the reasons why um, I would leave Big Kahuna. But I do appreciate the, uh, the question. And I definitely respect your, your views on that. Um, let's see here. What else do we got? A lot of these comments are just um, just that comments um, saying that it was a good job and everything else and people like the fact that I'm doing these things with my family. Uh, okay, this is this is the one that I wanted to actually touch base on here. Um, I've had I had several people ask this question. Um, uh, Karen actually um, brought this up as well as someone by the name of um, Run Level Zero. Um, Run Level Zero says, when bugging out in a light-colored vehicle, be sure to throw a couple large camo tarps in the kit along with some extra tie-outs. The cheap tarps are fine for that this application. When you arrive at your destination, park on a trees and tie out the tarps over your vehicle to camouflage it. This will help prevent your location being given away from above. And that is a great point. Um, the video bugging out, that was uh, that video I made uh, with brand new editing software. I didn't know how to use it. And I actually talk about doing just that. And um, basically I talk about I was telling my wife, when we get to this particular location, uh, we need to throw the tarps over the vehicles, this thing and that. And you'll also notice that the field that I was in was covered in evergreens. Um, this field is prime, a prime spot for hiding a vehicle. Um, I'm going to show you that video right now. We're going to have to squeeze down here as far down as we can, Heather. Uh-huh down by the creek or whatever, and then we'll pull the, uh, the cargo nettings out, throw it over the vehicle. Starting to get into some taller grass now. Okay. 
Okay, so there you go. Um, like I said, the editing software, I for some reason it shrank that file down and I lost that, but as you can see, I I actually do have camo nets um, to throw over the tar or excuse me, to throw over my vehicle or vehicles and uh, the fact that we were in a very wooded cedar area, uh, we would have been fine. But um, that that was a, a great catch, uh, run level zero. It, it really was, and I, I greatly appreciate you pointing that out because had I not uh, thought about that ahead of time, I definitely would be thinking about that right now. Let's take a look at some other stuff here. And I'll go ahead and read you what Karen had uh, sent to. Um, it says, uh, I, I share the same thoughts. I take my grandkids out all the time and try to get them, get them used to the outdoors at night and camping by taking them um, to familiar places at first over and over. It's good training ground for them. Very good video. Don't forget to get a good camo cover. That pretty white car of yours. Love your videos. Hope someday you'll be able to uh, answer your videos though. Blessings to you and your family. Take care. Karen, number one, I greatly appreciate you watching my videos and I, I thoroughly enjoy your videos as well. Um, you always make really great comments and have really good questions for me and everything else. And um, I, I do intend on um, trying Google Plus a second time and hopefully it works a little bit better for me this, this next go and I can actually comment on the videos again. And again, thank you for pointing out the cover. Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. My daughter drew me a picture. Very pretty. Thank you so much, baby. I couldn't do that like I did, so I just had to go down. Ah. And I wrote down that. Okay. Well, thank you. I said I'm going to lock both of the doors. Oh, well, here's your pencil. Okay. Thank you. But, um, but no, Karen, thank you uh, for pointing that out because, like I had told, uh, Run Level Zero had. Here, don't do that, baby. You're going to knock it over. Um, just like I told Run Level Zero, um, had I not thought about that prior, I would definitely be thinking about it now. Um, Trail Traveler has made a comment and it says the funny the funny thing is that most people tend to go there to their feel safe spot and he's got that in quotations without realizing this spot cannot give them enough food or what if this spot is in the danger zone perhaps it's better to team up with friends and neighbors and I gotta tell you I absolutely agree uh, with him wholeheartedly Maybe please don't do that. And um, here's kind of what I what I think about that is number one, um, your spot probably will not uh, supply you with enough food. I mean, plain and simple, um, unless you think ahead. Um, I'm a oh, trapper. I'm a hunter. Um, the bags that you see me throw on my back were just for this video. Um, the items that I would be taking in this particular situation would be a lot of my trapping equipment as well as um, guns and ammunition to hunt with and everything else so that way I, when I get see that way when I get to my uh, my location I can actually be proactive Kaylee can you okay I know now go wash your hands okay because you got marker all over them and get that stick from Maya but baby please try but uh, that way you can be proactive when you get to that spot. Um, I have food, obviously, and a lot more food than uh, 72 hours worth. Um, in each one of my vehicles, I probably have roughly three months worth of food at all times. Um, but when I get to my particular location and I get set up and everything else, um, am I going to dive right into that food? No, not at all. The moment I get to that spot, get set up, or whatever it is, uh, the moment I know that I'm going to be at that particular location, wherever it may be, um, 
I would be proactive. I would start setting up my traps and everything else at that point. I would want to save that three month supply of food for as long as I can because that is my safety net. Um, as far as teaming up with friends and family, uh, I have friends and I have family that we are all that we have already made a plan and everything else. And as far as going to my feel safe spot, um, I don't have a feel safe spot. Um, I have a place that I frequent, you know, but there's always people around and everything else. It's not necessarily a feel safe spot. It's just a spot that I would probably go to rendezvous with friends before we left and went someplace else. And um, but anyway, um, great, great comment, great question. Let's take a look at some others here. Um, I had another uh, individual by the name of uh, Jaden Presno ask a question. Um, it says, why would you leave the truck? Um, I, I wasn't, um, I, in the video, I guess it does appear as if I left the truck, um, is what I was trying to portray was actually me just hiding the truck and walking away from the truck. Um, I would do my best not to leave the truck. I mean, who knows, uh, you know, when I might need it. So, um, I would be prepared to leave the truck behind, but I would do my best not to leave the truck behind. But again, good question. Um, let's see here. Awesome bug out vehicle. Eh, you know, some would say yes, some would say no. Um, my, I've always been a believer that, um, you should have some sort of four-wheel drive vehicle, um, irregardless of whether or not you plan on going off-road, um, because you know who knows when you might need it. You may only use your uh, four-wheel drive once a year, if that. But I'm here to tell you, the moment that you need your four-wheel drive, you need your four-wheel drive. Uh, so I do absolutely believe that everybody should have a four-wheel drive. Yeah. Honey, please. I just want to you can show them. Show them real quick. She's been working with leather with Daddy. But anyway, that is some of the uh, the questions and comments that I had uh, actually received um, on my channel and everything else. And like I said, these are not including the ones that were sent to me in my um, in my actual email. Uh, the ones that were sent to me in my email, I was able to comment on and everything else. So, um, I wanted to tell everybody again, thank you very much for um, commenting on my videos and watching my videos. And um, like I said, I am going to be looking at doing the Google Plus thing again. Um, don't want to, I do not like to be forced into doing something that I don't want to do, but you know, the thing is, is I really enjoy being able to communicate with all of you guys. Um, I don't make these videos because I like to see myself on video. I make these videos because I feel um, I might have some valuable information that might help you and because you guys have a lot of valuable information that can certainly help me and has certainly helped me. Um, I've, had, I've made videos on things that I thought that I was uh, efficient at and you guys have given me comments and suggestions and I tell you what, um, my skill level has uh, blossomed because of you guys so again thank you very very much but uh, anyway I'm not gonna take up any more of your time um, so as always guys I want to tell everybody bye you know how, do you know how daddy says it say as always say it repeat after me as always have a good one say it as always, have a good one. Have a good one.